And here we are on the lovely Atlantis spaceship. Liquid Teja is our blue Terran player on the far left side spawn. This is just a two player map. So up on the top spawn, we have our challenger, Marine King Prime. He's already up three games to zero. So Teja has some, definitely has some work to do. That's right. So we'll see what uh, Marine King is gonna offer now on Atlantis spaceship. As we mentioned before, it is the biggest two player map in our map pool. The walk distance is a little ridiculous. Here's one natural. Okay, this is actually going way too slow. I'll just I'll just go ahead and drag. We're still walking. We're still walking. We're still walking. We're still going. There's your opponent's natural. So um, whenever you see non-mirror matchups, um, you'll tend to see incredibly quick command structures. Uh, Nexus first, command center first. We've seen that uh, command center first into one racks into a third command center into Hellions afterwards for Terran players. We even saw uh, someone like the uh, now Root Cats go after three hatch before spawning pool on this map. Easy game. Yes, easy. <laughs> oh, there's a, not a proxy rex, just a forward rex, I guess. That's right. Um, kind of indicates that he wants to expand quickly. Double but 11 rex. This map is like you said, pretty huge, and the, the mains on each side are rather large, so Banshees and Drops are actually a lot of fun on this map because yeah. you can sort of conceal them um, pretty easily before actually, like you can drop all your Marines before running in instead of having to do the parachute drop, stuff like that. Banshees have a little bit of more space to play around with, but uh, yeah, two racks already from Liquid Teja, Marine King still just getting up that first one in base. That's right, so um, double 11 racks is certainly very interesting, but you know, Tejra may be counting on his opponent going for something very greedy. Marine King, not, well, kind of doing that. He's um, not economically greedy, but he gets very tech greedy at the moment. Went for gas first once again. Barracks is going to come up, and he's probably going to switch right into his factory once again. So we'll see what he wants to follow this up with, if it's going to be another tech lab, and then to put down the fastest possible Banshee. And if he only has one Marine up at that time, Tejra has the potential to do some damage. That's true. Will he sort of, I mean, he, uh, did he just hit an SCV or, or a Marine? Sorry. Uh oh Oh, God. That's part of a proxy Thor. <laughs> yeah, proxy Thor. It's coming. <laughs> he needs to get that armory up fast afterwards. Uh, so what's this scout from Teja? It is an SCV. I was wondering if he's going to try to bunker up at uh, MKP's natural and just try to do a little bit of a contain with this number of Marines. He could easily do that, but we'll see if he wants to or not. The factory is now complete. Oh, wait. No, Second no, it's not guess. complete. I was, I was looking at Teja's bar because they're both Terran and I'm confused easily. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Not a good skill to have. No, not not a great, not a useful talent or anything. But um, where are the Marines pooling? Just in the center of the map here. Right. They should be able to snag that scouting Marine from MKP pretty easily. That's right. And he Just will. March up and oh, slap him. Very smart, though. He pulls back his other Marines so that Marine King would only see the two and wouldn't think that this is any out of the ordinary pressure. Now, hmm. as we can see, unfortunately, it's not going to be a proxy. Thor, it is going to be a boring old proxy banshee. I think he misclicked Starport and <laughs> meant to do the proxy armory. Clearly, yes. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately for ranking, that means he's going to lose now, probably. So, <laughs> too bad. Well, Fast, Fast Thors would have totally rocked this. And he does see a lot of Marines already starting to duck back with the one that he There's has up at the front, pulling his SEVs off the line. Ooh, Knows he man. has to do so. Bunker being constructed by Tasha inside oh, the Marine wow. King's base. Did he, did he pull everything? What's what's this blue stream coming up? Are those all SEVs? Let's see here. Oh, my God. All right. So Tasha <laughs> wants to take a really quick on Atlantis spaceship of all maps. And Tasha does have more firepower in this. Marine King is actually losing quite a bit of resources. Now he will be able to get a band. <laughs> out though there were SCVs just battling each other <laughs> like in the corner of the main uh, only two Marines standing now for MKP is trying to crank out one more at a time but Teja can literally just sit on that barracks while the bunker goes up and uh, MKP really won't have many options now he's gonna lift his orbital command not sure to what end he's got six supply remaining and some of it is that Banshee that's not even complete yet so I mean, you said you admired Teja a little bit for not calling it quits earlier, but MKP, you're at four supply, dude. He uh, is at four <laughs> supply, but with a banshee. But there are no islands on this map. Like, what are you, what are you gonna do? Well, it's obviously gonna bunker up, drop a scan, and the banshee. I mean, yeah, it's not gonna do much. <laughs> Good job, Teja. Yeah, pulling SCVs is is a useful talent to have. 
bit by bit. Engineering oh. Bay coming back. I mean, it's at this point when you're like, what can kill me? What can kill oh, me? Oh, there's the one Banshee. That's, That's why he only had two Marines alive, because he's building a Banshee. That's right. So, And the Banshee, no unfortunately, cloak, obviously. not going to get a whole lot of damage done. Uh, yeah, you're right. Not anywhere near enough resources for Cloak. So he'll be able to do a little bit of damage as he has a second Banshee coming up as well. But, I mean, Tasha, he can suffer losses. He'll still stabilize and uh, still be in a fine spot. Yeah, MKP did actually finally land at a a base nearby, but really Teja just has to survive this one Banshee and the game's over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Six kills on the Banshee, so not not a terrible loss. I mean, not a terrible uh, waste yeah. of resources there for MKP. Seven kills now. I don't imagine he'll get too many more. He's only eight HP left. That's right. I'm not sure he's going to be wanting to repair it when he has so few <laughs> resources left. Well, he is sending it back home, and uh, oh, wow. second, second Banshee. Yeah, second Banshee's going to kind of swing around the side now, and it looks like Tasia is going to bunker up back at home a little bit more uh, uh, effectively this time, make sure that he doesn't get killed by anything up at the front. Unfortunately, Marine King can't build anything. He has supply blocks, so he's putting up another supply depot right now. How hard would Tasia face palm if he did lose this game? Uh, hard enough to hard. break his nose? Potentially, <laughs> yes. I think I would. Uh, hey, gas. I haven't seen that yet. That's right. <laughs> we do have some gas there by Teja. So now uh, it's 30 supply to 11. We can take a look. It's 15 workers to three. Uh, I mean, both players are on equal mules at the moment, but the economy obviously, excuse me, vastly superior for Teja. Yeah, the Marines are now going to find the uh, last bastion of MKP there. Ooh, we might want to focus that Hellion first. The Banshee's obviously able to dance around a lot easier, but all those Marines are killed off. Yes. And MKP starting to move <laughs> well um unfortunately for him there is a bunker that's coming up and there's plenty of marines out for tasia now tasia is certainly going to need to pick a, a tech path to go down here in a bit probably needs a, a second gas eventually looks like he's waiting for a factory nice job pulling the mule off right at the end to make sure that it doesn't take any unnecessary resources that won't get collected yeah that's always tricky isn't it when your mules just steal your minerals and die yeah because <laughs> they're working against you <laughs> I Solid love that mechanic. Yep. <laughs> they, they didn't think this through. <laughs> um, this bunker will finish just in time, and actually both Banshees still surviving, so MKP doing a good job keeping everything alive. That's, that's right. That's one thing he does have is great care for his individual units, and uh, oh, that's scary. Yep. And it, takes, it takes a second for those Banshee motors to get, get spinning. And his survivability is always quite good, too. I mean, Dang. we remember way back early in the GSL where it'd be like, oh, Marine King's really far down in this game. He can't come back. There's no possible way. And then he would just drop somewhere in the game. Um, yeah, I mean, these barracks have taken quite a bit of damage. And look at that. Tisha actually has to bounce back. Now, fortunately for him, there's not all that much out for Marine King, so he can just, well, keep that bunker up, and it's not like anything's going to run on by. It's giving MKP some time to repair up, and he could actually just loop around to the bottom there and do the exact same thing to that second barracks. But now... Uh, looks like production is kind of stabilized for Teja. He's got his starport building now. He's got Hellions coming out in addition to those usual Marines. And the Banshees are back to work. Oh, no, he got too close to the bunker. That extended range from inside the bunker almost gets that Banshee down. He's at 13 kills now. Yeah, no kidding. Ridiculous. So, Marine King, like I said, is, is incredible at just being able to survive really in every circumstance. Oh. Does end up losing one of the Banshees, Hero Banshee, that had 15 yeah. kills, I think, at the end. Yeah, 25 combined kills for those two Banshees before getting picked off. Yep. And they even managed to snag one in death. Yep. Post-mortem Marine kill there. But uh, 10 SCVs against 24, it still looks pretty hopeless for MKP despite getting all those uh, annoying uh, Marine and SCV kills with those Banshees. That's right. What weird TBTs we've seen <laughs> today, though. I mean, like, none of these have just been Ooh. normal, well, let's build some Marines and tanks and go kill each other. These have all been very mind gamey, weird ones. Uh, that's all right. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think proxy BCs would be more entertaining, that's but true. This, this is pretty entertaining. If only to make Total Biscuit <laughs> clap somewhere. <so>. Yeah. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> he really did it. Proxy like, BCs. Or they both do it to each other in the same game Huzzah. blindly. I'd be okay with that. Yeah. I'm actually totally fine with how that plays out. Um, so, Teja, uh, he, he's got enough economy. He can probably start looking at an expansion sometime soon. Uh, admittedly, he can probably just go kill his opponent pretty uh, pretty quickly. It looks like he is going to do just oh, that. It looks like that, that, there was that a, there's a GG in the middle symbol there. in there. Yeah. But I don't know what that means, so maybe it's got different context. That's that's possible. He didn't leave the game yet. Uh, so give us give us a shout on Twitter with what that means if you can read that. I'm what at does Kevin it Aki. mean? He's at Ask Joshi. So 
Anyway, um, kill the tech lab. That's right. Well, Marine King, uh, you know, still trying to hang on here. Tasia, though, doing a pretty good job of starting to whittle down these structures. And uh, there are five Hellions out now, but the one that was just constructed gets down to four hit points before it can even join the group. Man, he's he's just blasting away. No, he's not even lifting off or anything. That's right. Um, one SCV, one Hellion in production. No Marines in production. This is kind of a death whale. I don't know. I want to know what MKP said now, where he's, it had GG in there. Right. And he just didn't leave. And he, he's just very obviously not going to win. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm very curious now. Well, uh, you know, I mean, let's talk about this a little bit. It's a good way to catch the momentum back for Tasia. And, uh, you know, he certainly needs to start that, that, that comeback uh, quite aggressively. Uh, so he's going to land a factory, unfortunately. Picked off here in about two seconds. Maybe and there it goes. Maybe MKP said BRB hot pocket so that he can just have some time to cool off. He's like, man, I lost that game. I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna leave uh, my. I'm just gonna a move and go make go grab a hot pocket. There's the GG. GG. But uh, Teja wins a game.